Hi everyone, Tom Moffat here. Welcome to BUS 115 Personal Finance. During the next 16 weeks, we're going to be learning about some fundamental concepts and components of managing your personal finances. Uh, for example, we'll be talking about uh, creating a personal balance sheet and a cash flow statement. Uh, you'll create a budget, a personal budget, and we'll talk about taxes, credit, insurance, investing, even some areas of estate planning. You'll have a complete personal financial plan which will help you put all these topics uh, into practice. When you log in, the first thing you're going to see is the home page which you see here. I encourage you to take some time to explore each of the menu items on the left navigation column over here especially if this is your first online class. Pay special attention to announcements, modules, and discussions. I make lots of announcements, so please check the announcements on a regular basis at least three to four times each week. You get to announcements by clicking on course, course announcements. A link should be right here. Or if you're on the home page, you can click on course announcements that's also included in class resources. So let's take a look at the modules page for just a minute. When you open the, uh, the modules page at the very top is the course schedule. So when you open the course schedule, you'll see that the assignments are listed by module. Here are the assignments for Module 1. Just, here are the due dates for Module 1 and the points associated uh, with each of those assignments. So if you look at Module 1, you see that the first thing we is do is an introduction discussion. The initial post is due on a Thursday and then the reply is due on a Sunday. The first two uh, connect assignments, the chapter one connect assignment, the chapter one quiz, uh, both of those are also due on Sunday. Please keep in mind that at least two replies to discussions uh, posts are required. Well, this is typically what the course calendar looks like. If you look at module two, you can see that it's structured essentially the same way, except it also includes step one of your personal financial plan. Go back to modules. For each of the six steps of your personal financial plan, they are described in this folder personal financial plan and there is an explanation of each of the six steps. You'll have also have information when you get uh, to those uh, steps uh, in both modules and announcements on a weekly basis. If you look back at modules. You'll see that the next section here has to do with proctoring. OTC requires at least one proctored event for each course. Our proctored event for this class will be the 11.3 chapter 11 quiz. You'll have a week to complete the proctored quiz. And if you're not familiar with pro pro proctoring requirements, Please open this link, it says Proctoring Requirements, and review those. To access the Connect Assignments and the Quizzes, you can see that here, here's a Connect Assignment, here's a Connect Quiz. Just click on the link. The first time, you might be uh, prompted to set up your account. And if you are, please use your OTC email address to set up that account. And that way, any connect, any course that you take at OTC that uses connect assignments, then you'll be already 
uh, registered. If you need to get in touch with Connect Support, there's a link up here, uh, Connect Support, and you can uh, access uh, support either by phone or chat or email. Personally, I prefer the phone, uh, but there the other options are also available to you if you're having some kind of a technical issue. My experience with Connect Support has been outstanding. A very few or very little time that I've ever had to call them, but when I do, uh, they are very uh, responsive. In each of the modules, you'll see there's some additional materials, like for example, here is a narrated PowerPoint. <clears throat> I think you'll find these narrated PowerPoints will be a, a, a big help in committing or uh, completing each step of your personal financial plan. Uh, there's also some videos in here, uh, and in some cases, some additional reading material. Here's a PowerPoint, another PowerPoint also. It helps, uh, just helps explain uh, the content that we'll be covering for that module. Go back to uh, grades. It's another area. When you click on the grades navigation button, it will show you each of the assignments, the due dates, and the points available. You will get feedback on all the work that you submit, except the connect assignments. Those are automatically graded so that you won't get any feedback from me about those. Uh, there are two exams during the semester. One is a midterm and then at the end of the semester we'll have a comprehensive final. And I think you have about at least five days to complete those. Uh, online office hours are available. Uh, by request, and we use a link. Go back to the home page. We use this link here that says Team BUS 115 Online Office Hours. So it's a link that you can click on. I'll be there, uh, and uh, we use Microsoft Office or Microsoft Teams uh, for our online office hours. We just uh, let me know if you want to get together and uh, we'll set up a time and date when we can access each other using uh, uh, the Teams link. Well, that's enough to get us started. Please post any questions about the course to the Student Commons Forum in the discussion area. That allows everyone to benefit from any questions that you might have. So if you go back up to Discussions, and you look at the very top there is Team Commons. All right, you simply open, click on that link, click reply, enter your question, and uh, then you send it in, and I'll be able to get back with you. If you have any questions of a personal nature, such as your grades, please contact me via the OTC email. Uh, that's M-O-F-F-I-T-T-C at O-T-C E-D-U. And please use your O-T-C email address for any contact or getting messages uh, that you might want to send to me. Uh, the filters are set up so that uh, uh, O-T-C uh, email is often the only message that, that gets through. So if you use some other kind of an email program like uh, Hotmail or or Gmail, some of those. <clears throat> those messages might be blocked. Well, I think that's enough to get us started. I look forward to meeting all of you online, and I will see you online 